Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone love into this. Your mama in the fucking sand. Uh, I don't think you're familiar with it, but there is on Netflix a recently a, a documentary series came out about Aaron Hernandez. He was, of course, the star tight end for the champion, multi-time champ, Super Bowl champion Patriots. This was one of the most incredible national stories that broke out a few years ago because when he was arrested, he was uh, definitely an, an A-list player, a pro bowler. He had signed a $40 million contract. He's on the Patriots, which is like, you know, the team of teams that's just always winning, winning, winning. And he was arrested for a murder. Wow. And the documentary did a, it's, it's an amazingly well done. Um, by the way, they also, I, I, to, I don't mean to jump around, but the Boston Globe did an audio version a few, like a year or so before that is uh, incredible. It's like a six part audio version. You can go on YouTube and, and listen to it. But the documentary on Netflix is incredible. And one of the things that you, it's, it's basically like breaks down. Like how, how did this guy end up here? Yeah. And it goes back to his childhood. He grew up in Bristol, Connecticut. He was the son of a, a, an alpha male star athlete. And his father died when he was a teenager in high school. Mm. And a lot of people who have studied him in his life feel like this is a big turning point. You know, a big turning point in his life where things really changed for Aaron. He didn't have that figure in his life anymore and he was lost. And it's almost like he was, uh, you know, kind of stopped the trauma, made his brain kind of stop evolving then. Like even when he was in his 20s and all this stuff happened, he did in a lot of ways behave like a teenager, you know, like mm. he was. A, but the, it also reveals this this documentary in more detail that Aaron was at the very least probably bisexual or or just gay, right? I mean, I mean I'm, I'm saying that because he had, uh, you know, a fiance and a mm -hmm. child, and he had mm -hmm. was around women, but he had a relationship with his high school quarterback, mm. and that guy was like, yeah, we hooked up. And that was the guy with his dad too, right? That was yes. the coach. That was the where coach. he was like, "It's it's fine now that he's gay, but back then I was not pleased." Yeah, he was like, "I would not have, I was not a fan <laughs> <Yeah>. of them." <laughs> and now he's right here. But um, then you see that, like, when you when you watch the whole piece, you kind of go, "Holy shit!" This was what feels like this incredibly gifted athlete, who who so was ashamed and in fear of, of it being revealed that he was gay, that all these things were a cover, oh, right? Wow. Didn't it kind of feel like that? Well, yeah, oh. like it was all an ingredient to live a dual life almost, you know, or right. a double life. But it almost felt like the, like everything, like the, the tats, the way he behaved, the aggression, ultimately murdering, and then, and finally committing suicide we're all tied into being repressing, repressing this thing. This See, thing. that's what I was wondering if I was jumping to conclusions because the documentary didn't really like hit that nail like on the head, right? It wasn't right. obvious no, throughout it, the whole thing. They would bring up a couple of stuff here and there, then they would be like, and then he was gay also. And you'd be yeah. like, huh, okay. And you're trying to piece it together. And it never really looped around like, did Odin Lloyd, were Odin Lloyd and him doing stuff? Or well, were, yeah, that, that doesn't become obvious. I mean, there's... There's things that like, well, another thing that they revealed was when he died, he, he hung himself in, in prison. Um, like the day after it became news that uh, somebody was saying they had a gay relationship with him. He's Have like, you seen the oh, guy wow. that uh, was saying it too that was talking about it? Is he it hot? was the guy in jail. He looks like... Uh, if like Justin Bieber and Post Malone were to have like a baby together, mm -hmm. he's like a tatted up Justin Bieber almost, you know? That's yeah. cute. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's a real white rapper kind of guy. Yeah. Mm. Aaron was a, such a good looking guy. Yeah, this really? guy. They were. He was talking, he's like, know. we wouldn't love and shit. Like he Aww. was saying all kinds of stuff in an interview, but people are saying some some of his shit's uh, talking tales out of school, so. Yeah, he, it could he be. He wasn't in the documentary, so right. that's what's 
confusing to me. Yeah, I mean, it could have been, there could be multiple reasons why they couldn't get him in the documentary, you know? Yeah. Isn't um, it terrible, though? Like, if Aaron Hernandez was just openly gay as an NFL player doing the things that he was doing... Oh, my God. He would have had, like, a gay holiday named after him. Oh, my God. At he, this point. If he was mature and comfortable with it and not, you know, not insecure about it, not right. hating himself, not self-loathing about it, yeah, he would be, he would be like, an, he'd be on the cover of, you know, Time Magazine. He'd be, like, on the quarter. Yeah. I mean, it would be But the culture is so homophobic, right? Yeah, the, but the, I feel like... There would be a couple room. of people. You know, the people that like, get mad when Cam Newton smiles, they'd be pissed that, that Aaron Hernandez was gay. But like, sure. uh, I think it would be very like accepting at this point. Maybe not in the locker room. I don't know how but that it, would go. But there's yeah. so much to... I mean, oh, what I was saying was that after he hung himself, they did an autop- autopsy, and his brain was so heavily damaged. He had... Mm. like an advanced CTE mm. and he had essentially the brain of an elderly person with dementia. Oh, wow. You know, he had like really, really high level brain damage. But that stuff doesn't exist, right? It was but a real, it looked like a balled up uh, piece of gum. Yeah. Oh, and on the x-ray, it was crazy. And they said, especially in the frontal lobe, which that is all like impulse control, you know, like just doing oh. things because he did crazy shit like someone would like walk by him and they'd like maybe spill a drink on him or something a little bit and then he would well that was exactly what happened happened. when he murdered a guy he married he murdered two guys yeah two of them two guys on the street because they spilled a drink on him and he got so crazy and he couldn't control the impulse to murder i mean it it was just such an irrational it's like when someone makes your drink wrong at starbucks (laughs) how far away are you from but you know what i have I got that frontal lobe. You still have yours? Yeah. Okay. That's when you'll know something's wrong with me. Oh, boy. If I'm like, they a made it wrong. couple of head injuries. Oh, boy. They made it wrong, and then I just cut them up. Yep. <laughs> a couple <laughs> of head injuries away from that w- that wall breaking down in your frontal lobe. That's yep. for yep. sure. It's a good thing I didn't play college ball. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, how sad. No, it's really sad. He killed those two guys. He killed his fiance's sister's boyfriend this is a separate one then one of his friends who he was rolling with who knew because was with him when he shot the two guys who spilled the drink he shot him in the head Mm. so he tried to kill that guy Uh, the lover in prison by the way said during a night of canoodling that he confessed to a fourth body oh my life and then don't forget that he also shot somebody in gainesville when he was at Florida, and they never tied it to him. You know? <laughs> the Tebow team. That, yeah. You must uh, look back and go, ha ha, yeah. The savages. Yeah, they're all animals on that team. There was like yeah. a coach who got arrested and all this other stuff, too. Yeah, and then they're like, national champs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about the Pouncy guys uh, being in that that documentary? They got The Pouncy twins be gay. <laughs> 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 you remember that? That's the one thing I know about football. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Finally. Oh shit! I, uh, do you know <laughs> what she's might, talking they about? They might be. No, 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 no I don't what know. She's that. talking about um, the <laughs> year they got drafted. <laughs> yeah, I remember this so specifically because I was laughing so hard about it. There was an Ole Miss player, right? Who was Twitter was like kind of because the, the Twins have been in the NFL like ten years or something. Yeah, so Twitter was sort of newish, right? Yeah, it would have been like it was probably around that same draft yeah. as Aaron Hernandez, it exactly. Was like 09 or something. Right. So it's a couple of years old, but it's not like what it is now. And um, so it's like, oh, let's go on Twitter. And this this Ole Miss player was tweeting like hilarious shit about everybody <laughs> in the draft. And when that was the year that uh, they didn't enter the draft the same year. So Marquise went like the year before Mike or vice versa. Right? Pouncy. Yeah. I don't remember. So which one was whichever one was first, he gets drafted and the the brothers stand up and they kissed <laughs> and they like they kiss like on oh, the lips kind that's of. how that happened and then, and then that dude wrote, wrote, wrote pouncy twins be gay <laughs> <laughs> because they kissed <laughs> and so i started tweeting at that dude the old miss player and then he blocked me <laughs> oh <laughs> what did you say to him i was like they be gay huh like i just kept like trying to provoke him um 
But it was, and you've held that now for over a decade in yeah. your brain, Christina. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. I can't believe that came out of that vault right it's away. It's like the joke. Just brrr, that's the I must have been talking it. about it. If you're, if you're, yeah, because I remember you saying it. Palsy twins be gay, <laughs> and you would say it around the house, and then it's like lock that up for yeah. somewhere. <laughs> I can't remember I what I had. I believe you remember that. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I did Pouncy yesterday. Pouncy twins be gay. But I know Pouncy twins be gay. And I know talk about practice. <laughs> That's right. Because I retain all the... the I wonder best. if there's any truth to that, though, now that I've... You know, they were like calling their boy up in jail. Yeah, no. No. Wait, what? I think this is this oh. is all part of Hernandez's, um, you know, web that he... Yeah, they were spun. part of the cover. Of course, because... Did you hear the way he would talk to them? Like he would get all gangster. You know what I'm saying? They got bad bitches down in them. Not like like he was. Yeah, he just, was dropping some uh, big words. He dropped big there. words. Is he allowed to drop big words? Uh, a lot of Puerto Ricans. What drop is? Big I words. don't. I was going to ask. What is Aaron Hernandez? I knew he was of a Latin. His father's was Puerto Rican. Okay. And his mother, I think, is a white lady. But you know, he had like that. He definitely had those. Latin. Does that lead into not being uh, wanting to be open about being gay? You think? Oh, that was a super like his dad was a super macho Latin guy, mm. you know, and that definitely would not have been cool in his house. Yeah. Cause that they, part's clear. Right. It's not cool to be gay if you're Latin or well, African. What what race do you think is the gay race? The gayest race? White people, right? We're the gayest race. Do you no, mean white like people invented the Greeks? Hey, who's you're the most homophobic or no, they're just the gayest. Who's the gayest? The oh. most openly gay. Uh, the whites love to be gay. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, I guess. But I mean, you can go to, you can see every race be, be super gay. And com- like in Atlanta, oh, you see on. like, you see black <laughs> queens like swaying it down the street Please all the time. Call on me. Right? I'm going to go for Middle Easterners. Cause wow. Because like, they're like down low gay. Yeah. Or you ever see like in Greece, the dudes that hold hands when they walk down the street <laughs> together? <laughs> that should be gay, son. <laughs> But that's like a cultural norm there. Right. But that's what I'm saying. It's so like, like we're Saudis. not gay. Saudis do that. That's what's up. But yeah. I'm saying, yeah, like it's it's not gay if you butt fuck a guy before you get married. You're practicing. Yeah. Like that's their mentality. It's yeah. like, it's not even gay. It's well, just, that's, that's true. That's what we fucking do. We butt fuck. Yeah. That's, yeah. What, that's what I did. <laughs> that's what you I just, told that girl in uh, Boston. You're, you're, like, you're like, why a finger? Don't you have like a, a strap on or something? <laughs> yeah, those cultures are so unaware of homosexuality. Yeah. <laughs> they're like so, it's not even in their, they're like, this is just normal. We're yeah. just gay by normal. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like, I feel like white people probably. White people love to talk about it and be open. I feel like there's more acceptance of that, right? Now. I wonder if they ran the numbers though. What would it be? You know? <laughs> like who would be the gayest? Yeah, what race would be the gayest? <laughs> Which race well, is the it, gayest? Well, it probably That's has a, good a direct uh, correlation to just population. What is there the highest population of? So right, but, then, a, but a per- you get oh, a wait, percentage of each that's population. That's well, what I'm saying. So whoever has the most then by, population. Then by, by that logic, the Chinese should be the gayest. There you are. The gayest and there, race. And now the conversation is over. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese are the gayest people in the world. (laughs) And it's followed by Indians and then the rest of us. Yeah. But I feel like what he's saying is like who enjoys being gay the most. And I would say, yeah, white people really enjoy like I'm fucking gay and you better enjoy it and let's parade and let's, yeah, let's be white and gay. I don't know if they always say it like that. Yeah. But Just be white and gay. But then Latins are the best at being gay because I love a gay Latin man. A gay Latin man will It's really. the yeah. best. That's the thing. Yeah. yeah. If They're Aaron, like the best man, at it. Aaron could have gone such a different route. Oh my Imagine God. if he would have been like in Versace. Yeah, getting dude. Off the plane. Be like, <laughs> right? I had 12 catches, three touchdowns. <laughs> Hunter, Aaron, how's your motherfucking fantasy league doing, bitch? And he just like <laughs> yeah. sashay around. Be dope. It would have been amazing. And, and, bring, and bringing different guys. Uh, into like to like events yeah but that dude that was on in the documentary that was like just commenting on being a gay nfl player he was wasn't he on the same team as aaron Hernandez? Yes. imagine if they scored a touchdown in the super bowl and then just like frenched in the end zone it He's would have so been rad. like a moment it would have been a mo- more than a moment <laughs> <laughs> that would have been 
Yeah, a defining for a for an entire yeah, generation. Yeah, it would have been like when the after World War II when that sailor dipped the lady over and kissed her. It'd be like the most famous it's kiss true. ever. Yeah, if they kissed, now, yeah. Or I, like they pretended to blow each other in the end, <laughs> as part yeah. of the dance. Like he would just go like, ah, ah. Or like yeah. uh, Aaron Hernandez catches it, then he bends over and the old lineman comes up behind him and is like, <laughs> yeah, like that. That would have been dope, dude. I would have <laughs> loved all of it. I do like, I feel a, like a black gay guy too. The I other to thing say. about sports is like, yeah. so now it's revealed that you know like we've always known there had to be gay athletes yeah in sports and it was always you know no no one said shit then as time passed you know it was revealed oh this guy's gay you know he retired at first it was like 20 years ago and then 10 years ago and, and then like you know the guy retired uh and then a couple years later reveals it and you know now there's been so much like like there's so much progress made in terms of like not just gay rights but also in society's acceptance of it and we've always been thinking and saying like well there the crate like the thing that would really take it over the top would be an active current day not just gay player but star player mm -hmm. yeah right like imagine like the like a star player is gay and you know he could have been that right like right there was there was hope in a way uh, with michael sam when he was drafted you know he was sec defensive player of the year Everyone was like oh shit like and he went into the draft openly gay right and, right and the rams drafted them when they were in st louis didn't work out for him in the nfl I don't uh, think yeah. he. I don't think he owned it enough. You know what I mean? Like, if what I was mean? a gay linebacker, <laughs> oh my god! No, he just didn't. I'm saying he didn't deliver as far as play on the field. Right, exactly. Being but a I, gay think, would be I the think I think he could have like ascended higher in the sport if he if his mentality was in the right place. Like if he went into that in like you know he was probably worried. You know, I'm open. I'm the first open guy. I'm getting a lot of scrutiny. Yeah. Oh, for sure. So that if he went in there easy. and he was staring across the line at those guys, he's like, I'm gonna kiss your whole fucking mouth you know what i'm saying like and he was like i'm gonna and like if he got on top of a guy in a pile he's like yep. yeah this is my fucking dream bitch he had to, <laughs> you know what he I'm would saying? terrify like, them they, and would, they would get them. so intimidated yes. there would be guys dropping balls across the middle all the time because yep. they, they would hear more than his footsteps you know yep. what i'm saying I'd, he's right you could terrify them with your femininity yeah, yeah. or you just make your fe femininity aggressively masculine yes, yes. Just be like Man, you got succulent fucking lips. Shit. And then you just fucking <laughs> nail them. You know it would be cool. It would be cool if there was a savage monster. Yeah. Gay like guy, if yeah. like if like a like a JJ Watt, you know, level player. <laughs> yeah. You know? Or like uh uh Von Miller was like, I'm gonna sack every quarterback and I'm gonna Imagine if Aaron Donald well. was gay. Yeah. yeah. Your hands yes. are so big. Yes. That'd be awesome. I'm gonna suck or, all your dicks if we win tonight. <laughs> no, you got to do they, the, oh, the other team. team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be like, you guys I'm, win. You, yeah, if I'm you guys suck win. Your dicks. Imagine <laughs> if his uh, his chain and his medallion was just like a big set of dick and nuts. <laughs> oh all yeah, iced out. And That'd be just so like, fun. He would pick it up and put it in his mouth all the time. <laughs> yeah, mm, I'm gonna suck your dick. I'm gonna suck your dick. That's so true. Like Nadama can sue. Like he was like a. The oh biggest trash god. talker. Imagine if he was gay. Oh my oh. god, he'd be even more dominant. He'd mm. be like, and he was like throwing career. people and stepping on their heads. Yeah. What if he did that? But he was doing shit like and then whenever tickling they, them and shit. Like, whenever I they just tickled you, bitch. You when know, they like, find him, when the NFL is like, he got fined. But he's like, because I'm gay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just fucking discriminating and shit. And the NFL's like, Jesus Christ, it's not because you're gay. It's because you stepped on this guy's hand. And he's like, Yeah, I like to see that to a straight guy. <laughs> but do you think and in being in all seriousness because the nfl they make so much money it's an entertainment property and it's a family business in a sense like it's you know you have to, it's it's an american institution and you know do you think they'd freak out and be like but kids can't watch this american people, families can't watch the gay guy on some people say that but it's it's way too there's that train has left the station. Yeah, yeah right? So. Like, Ellen is gay. Yeah. And we're yeah. all okay. It's the same people that were like, oh, they had a, a gay kiss in Star Wars. It's like, it's happening. Did they? Like, it's, yeah. This is they the... They did? Is the, on, the, on the valedictorian? Or what? On the... <laughs> what's that called? The DeLorean? <laughs> Mandalorian. What did no, they... it was in the the last Star Wars film. There was like a, a celebratory scene and two Ew. women kissed one another. In it. Yeah. Oh, you didn't well, even notice course. it. It was like a blur by. Right. 
Uh, Except did, a couple uh, people definitely noticed it. Joey Diaz calls it the Maldolano, and then the <laughs> I think he called it the Maniscalco. The Maniscalco. <laughs> He's like, whatever. I'm not gonna fucking binge this shit. I'm not binging this shit neither. It's bro. great. It was but great. yeah, it's the same people that would complain about Cam Newton dancing in the end zone. Wait, didn't didn't a new Star Wars come out? Yeah. How was around it? Christmas time? I thought it was Dude, fantastic. So That's the many. one I was talking about with the yeah, I feel like female I'm, female kiss. And then they I'm finger so each other, and then that would be cool. One too. of them's like, "Oh, it's a lightsaber. I just cut your pussy in half." <laughs> I wish. Good morning, Julia. Did you like that highlight? Why not watch a whole episode or look at other highlights here? Or you can subscribe right here, so you know when that. You dumb broad. What? What's? I did that right. I know I did. Did I do that right? That was a perfect. <laughs> That's a great one.